All right, guys, so I'm in the basement here. Um, it's my big screen, all right? Um, I've been working on this project with, with a couple of my cousins. I'm trying to put a ceiling on the basement. So I'm going to show you, um, let me show you an area where, how we got the house, how it was. Uh, it was like this, all right? You see, it's just a lot of um, beams uh, to support the, the ground floor. All this exposed wiring and piping and all that um, ductwork and everything for the rest of the house and even you know down here. So uh, we decided you know we could do this job ourselves. Get some um, sheets of, of sheetrock and uh, cut it, um, cut it and screw it in. You know, should be simple enough, right? So day one. These are some of the sheet, pieces of sheetrock that we have left. Um, I got the thickest one that I could find at uh, local Home Depot because I wanted to um, uh, try to get the most sound absorption as possible between the basement and the, the ground floor. Um, so these are the, the pieces, don't mind that. That's just an old door. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, if I remember the right size, it's like, one and five eighths inch something like that but yeah pretty sturdy um and thick that makes them really heavy so that's good for sound sound proofing sound um, absorption but bad bad when you're trying to install them on the ceiling so um they don't tell you but lifting this thing up takes at least two people to hold it in the right place and um, for the third person to screw it in. So um, we did like this first one. We got through this first one over here. That's where we started in almost the corner, but you know, the squarest corner that we could find so we can use whole sheets. Um, we, we started in this corner and we were spent by the time we got one in. So uh, you know what I said, that ain't gonna work, you know? It's, crazy inefficient and we're never gonna get this done so uh we went to home depot you got one of those jacks i'll try to uh, put a picture up right now but we got one of those jacks and um we got one of those jacks and it helped a lot we were able to put in these how many remaining pieces um, so that was the first piece so one two three four five six seven we, we were able to put in seven pieces um which was great and we did that in like uh, like a day right um next we stopped right oh we had to take out the lights you see that's why some of them are still hanging we had to take out the covers from the uh the 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 air the um, central air and this is a little booboo that we made but I try, i'm trying to patch it up hopefully we don't gotta like make a whole new sheet or patch a bigger hole try to use some tape and i'm have to end up putty in it of course um hopefully it smooths out but it's not secure to anything you know you're supposed to cut out a big enough piece so that you could secure it and then strap it up but i'm hoping the piece is small enough and then the cover has to go on top of this so you know let's see we'll see how it works if not i got enough sheets to like make it work right um anyway so yeah this is a couple weeks later after we've had this done this has helped a lot um because i would hear every single thing that happens upstairs um in the living room so um it helps a lot and um want to get the rest of it done right so the rest of it is a lot more cuts to make you know there's some stuff hanging below there's um this this piping this duct work we got to go around there's a lot over here i'm thinking about adding some lights just to you know you see how dark it is on that and that wall um, and then some lights to make it a little bit more more um even evenly lit you know um but cool thing is i found this online so to get that heavy duty um, drywall lift from 
Home Depot. It was about sixty dollars for a day, like a full twenty four hours renting. Um, um, it was great because we used it for these big areas where we don't. We had you know full of space that we could stand. We could stand um, stand it up properly, but the 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 base of that thing is a tripod and it's, it was really wide, so it would take up a decent amount of space. I was, I'm, I'm mad I don't have pictures, but the base of it would take up a lot of space and I had to move stuff out of the way. So it helped with these really big pieces. But what we have left is a lot of smaller pieces, smaller cuts all around there. Um, so I found this thing online. It's called uh, Third Hand. It's called Third Hand, the original Third Hand. Um, and it provides a similar uh, benefit, right? It has these pads right here. And you get two in a pack, right? But anyway, for the purpose of drywall, it'll do the same thing. I gotta figure out how to extend it as much as possible. Essentially, you open it up, um, you put the drywall on top, and then you use this to lift it into place, All right? And that should hold it for you to do the screwing. And with, you know, if you got a couple of people helping you, this makes a lot of sense, it works. And it, it could be really helpful. Um, one person holding these in place, you know, and pumping it while the other people place it on top and, and um, screw in when that time comes. Um, so I got these for like 60 bucks on, come in a pack of two, I got them for 60 bucks on uh, Amazon. Um, but then when I got the box, I realized that there's accessories for these things to make them even more stable. And there you go. This is the accessory that I got. It's a tripod for this uh, third hand. Um, and obviously it's not as wide of a tripod as um, the, the heavy duty drywall installation lifter tool, right? Um, so I'm actually gonna put this on right now. Today we're gonna do some more work. We're gonna try to complete the basement as much as we can, put some lights in and um, yeah, make this like a more usable space um, than it was. So that's all I got for now. Uh, I'll update you. I'm trying to do some time lapse of when we're actually working. So I'll be able to update you guys. Uh, but yeah, look forward to it. Bye.